In this installation, we'll be talking about mental ray lights. Now, regular Maya lights work just fine in mental ray, as do shaders. What we've got here is a Maya spotlight that's trained right onto our still life. And mental ray render will reveal this image. Now, if you take a look under the mental ray heading for the lights attribute editor, you'll see there's a section called area light. You can turn a spotlight, for example, a regular Maya spotlight into a mental ray area light. What this does is allows you to cast light from this square area and you can change that to a disc or a sphere and cylinder and even create your own shape. Well, let's go ahead and go back to the rectangle. What the rectangle does is gives you a large dispersion area for the light itself. If you take a look at a render, three mental ray of that light, you've got a typical image as you would expect. When we turn it to an area light through mental ray, we'll go ahead and render that out and compare the results. The wide area from which the light is coming from gives you a much softer, much more gradual, and more real sort of light fall off. One additional thing we can do, let's put this in the buffer, is to turn on the decay rate. A decay rate allows a light to lose its intensity over distance, just like regular actual physical lights do. A linear decay rate is the easiest to calculate. And we'll go ahead and render a decay rate for linear. Now, decay rates can be on any light in Maya. It doesn't have to be an area light for mental ray. and doesn't have to render through mental ray. But one of the nice things about a decay rate is they give you a more real light behavior. You'll see we didn't change any of the intensity with the decay rate, but we lose quite a bit of intensity between the rectangle light and our subject. So we'll have to compensate by turning the intensity of the light up by quite a bit. Let's try an intensity of 8 to see if we can get a better result. Now here we have a much more sculpted, a much nicer light fall off. Certainly is brighter. Let's get rid of that. But compared to a non-decay rate, you get a very nice light on the bright highlights and a good fall off that gives you a nice shadow. Now speaking of shadows, we can certainly turn on shadows like any other Maya light and we'd prefer to use ray trace shadows. Put that in the buffer and we'll go ahead and render this out. The ray trace shadows work just fine with mental ray ray tracing and they give you a nice, very nice fall off. The area light in mental ray gives you an automatic softening of the shadow that happens very nicely over distance. Shadows are nice and crisp at the point of contact between the object and the shadow receiving surface and they fall off much like a real light does. The fact that we have a linear decay on here makes this a little bit more behaviorally real as to how real lights behave. You can further control your decay rate by changing it from linear to a more physical base, quadratic or cubic. But keep in mind, the quadratic and cubic will require a higher intensity, almost an exponential rate. If we go to cubic and we try rendering the scene, it will be mostly black. You can see a little bit of highlight and detail here. This forces the fall off to be more gradual and more pronounced. Let's go ahead and quadruple our light and take a look at the render of that. You'll see even turning up the light fourfold gives us a very subtle, subtle light. We have to go much higher for this light. Let's just go ahead and go to 124 intensity. Now, it gets pretty bright in here, but that's only a preview. It doesn't have nearly the power of the renderer itself to give you 
a good idea of how the lights will work. Now with an intensity of 124, you again start seeing some of the nice sheen, some of the nice highlights off of our surface, but you have a much richer, much deeper fall off into the blacks compared to the linear decay. Let's go ahead and take these out of our buffer and we'll take a look at the decay. The highlights are just about the same, but the modeling on the surface caused by the shadows is much, much nicer. In this chapter, we took a look at mental ray area lights by changing my spotlight into an area light. We also took a look at the very powerful decay rate option for any light whatsoever.